What's up, Kansas City? I'm Oprah Brown, and I'm here with the guys from Bonehead Clothing. We have Bones, or Dominique, <laughs> and we have Aaron. So can you guys kind of give us a little history behind the clothing line? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, well, it was started, obviously, because uh, it's Bones, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, I mean, it pretty much came to him, what, like three, four years ago? Three, four years ago. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, he... Like a little bit out of, uh, I was a little bit out of uh, college. Like, I had the idea in college, and uh, basically I came home. I used to throw parties. Mm -hmm. A lot of y'all might know that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, but I used to throw parties, and as you guys may know, it's like, you know, game changes. Things get oversaturated. You have to move on. Fashion's always been, like, my first passion. So, I mean, it was easy to get into that. Of course, I learned how to do, you know, graphic designs. Uh, from there, I mean, everything else was history. Uh, from there, I just had to figure out what, what we would call it. From there, we got Bonehead Clothing. Um, <clears throat> of course, it was a combination of my name and just of, you know, playing around, people calling each other Bonehead and, you know, you're doing this and you're doing that. Uh, bonehead can be spent around in many different ways, mm -hmm. of course. Um, typically, when you think of bonehead, you think of somebody doing something stupid or idiotic or... Right, or just different, really. Right. I mean, not even being, you know, the same as everybody else. I mean, uh, cause he, came, he came with me with it. He was uh, really approaching me with the ideal, and, uh, you know, I, I loved it, man. It was just, it was, it was really different and unique, and I knew where his head was at with it, where, it, where the creative mind uh, set came from. And I, I immediately was just like, bro, like, yeah, I'm, I'm there with you. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I think this is something that uh, we can we can brand and, and that the people actually appreciate. You know, so uh, that's where that's where it pretty much came from from both of us from both ends. Are you guys like related or are you guys family? Um, no, his, <laughs> his cousins. His, his cousin was uh, been my best friend for about since fourth grade, and uh, like, of course, like I said, y'all know Bones doing the the, uh, the parties. Mm -hmm. And uh, his cousin uh, Ronnie Johnson Jr. In case y'all didn't know, uh, <laughs> they, you know they was just they was neck and neck with it. They was like partners in crime, man. And I was just kind of like there, you know, enjoying the spotlight, enjoying the fame mm -hmm. that they was, you know, building he up. Was and, a card boy. Right, right, right. <laughs> I was the good one. I was the innocent one. And um, he actually asked me, you know, if I wanted to be a part of the group, and uh, I became the, like he said, the choir boy, the pretty boy. And I was just like, yeah, man. And then. Uh, from then on, we just, we really built our own relationship, and, you know, here we are, business partners, man. We really, we really family. Yeah. You know, he got a, uh, he got his own family, I got mine, and, you know, we just, we, we, we living together, and, you know, now we got something we want to give to the world, really. So when was the first launch? Uh, the first launch was on Black Friday, 2013. Mm-hmm. The most craziest day of my life. <laughs> Why was it crazy? It's hectic. I work retail. I sell phones. Mm -hmm. So I worked on Black Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we launched that same day. And a lot of people don't know, like, between, like, it's me and it's me and Aaron. There's no, there's no other guy. There's mm -hmm. no other, you know, nobody in the background. We do have one other person, mm -hmm. which is Janelle. She's not here with us. Um, what does she do? She actually makes the uh, accessories. Accessories. Okay. The bracelets stuff, that yeah. he's wearing. So, like, the Shamba bracelets and... She has a couple other ones we haven't actually even launched yet, but they'll actually be a part of the spring collection. Right, yeah. But um, actually, um, yeah, going back to that, I mean, it, it's just like... Uh, yeah, it was, it was a real hectic time for the both of us, man. Like, we was just like trying to get trying to get the designs that we already had out. We was like, bro, we, we, we so pressed for time. Do? Yeah. What do we, how do we want to do it? You know, we really didn't... We, we went off what we knew, you know, that was the best way to go about doing it, and... Uh, you know, we threw, we we gave it a shot, and uh, for real, it was it was it was successful for us. Just you know, because we didn't expect anything from it. All right. So uh, we had a launch party on Black Friday. It was at a retro. Not sure if anybody. I was uh, there. What? Well, yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely appreciated that, man. And uh, you know, it was just it was it, like I said, it was successful for us, and uh, was, yeah. we definitely learned a lot. We we uh, we scaled it back from then, and then kind of came back out with this new launch and. You know, ever since then, we just yes. really trying to keep the ball rolling, keep, you know, keep bonehead in everybody's mouth. It's a matter <laughs> of just finding your niche, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, once you find your niche, it's kind of like everything else means, like, every 
it's 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 no longer a matter of keeping up with the Joneses. You know right. what I'm saying? So it's like once you figure out what you need to do or how you're gonna do it, that's it. You know what I'm saying? And we figured that out. We just basically capitalized on some of our stronger points and. So was, what gender do you mo basically market to? Is it just male or female? Honestly, we are not biased. Uh, mm -hmm. So I mean, right. like, if you are a male and you like a shirt that's pink, we will make you, because I will wear a shirt that's pink. You <laughs> exactly. Know so Real men like, wear pink. I will <laughs> wear a shirt that's pink. So I mean, we're not biased at all. I mean, nowadays you have people that wear long sleeve shirts in the summer. You have women wearing men sweatshirts. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like we make our clothes based off of kind of like what style is going on right now. So, I mean, we have a lot of people that say, hey, we don't, you don't have a specific size. And it's like, okay, well, right now we're kind of not necessarily just catering to a certain, cr you know, crowd or a certain, you know, gender or anything like that. But the criteria that we're trying to meet right now <coughs> is basically, I put it like this. When you go to Harold Penner's, you know what I'm saying? Like when you get suited for a suit, they have big and tall, you know, right. like you shop specifically for that. So. As of right now, we are working towards it. Like that's one thing that we are working towards. But as of right now, it's kind of more so of a skater type of deal. Okay, skater. Because um, I mean, within all honesty, I mean, we are actually reaching out to the you know the black community, but for the most part, it is more so when you look at bonehead clothing. Not everybody's gonna be like, hey, this is gonna be something that I want to wear. Uh, and I, honestly, that was not necessarily the ideal goal but at the same time i was always taught it's it's quality over quantity you know what i'm saying so we put so much into our products to where you're gonna want to get the shirt because they're limited you right. know so that means there's rare you know it's rarity we don't really restock so i mean right. there's only 24 you know of that shirt so therefore it's you, you're it's only 24 of you wearing it you don't have to worry about <coughs> it. it's not like going to get jordan's and you got the whole city right them, you know right. what i'm saying so it's more so a matter of just being different with bonehead clothing. So, I mean, everything that we do is unique. Um, everything means something. Um, everything that we do, we try to actually have it so that people can actually relate to it somehow. Um, for example, with the Never Broke Again, uh, the NBA. Stand up. Um, yeah. We got the, the NBA, and then on the back it says Never Broke Again. Okay. Uh, basically, <coughs> just the... Uh, a matter of just, I mean, everybody, if not one person in this world or room or anywhere can say that they can't relate to being broke or mm -hmm. even if they have I'm never broke been broke. <laughs> <laughs> even if you haven't been broke, you're never going to go broke. So right. it's a matter of just standing on that and saying, hey, I'm never going back to that. And I'm, you know, I'm never doing that. So it's it's more so of a statement. Um, so, I mean, everything that we try to do, we try to get to where it actually hits home. Uh, more so of anybody that's going through the grind or the struggle or whatever you may be going through, we look at that as something to actually help you push it and right. brand yourself. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Actually, you're branding bonehead clothing, but at the same time, you're you're standing on something that you represent and what you feel like. You know, it, so. it's definitely all about individuality. You know, being confident in who you are, um, <clears throat> and then expressing it through fashion. You know. So what's the message behind your shirt? Uh, well, it's actually just. Um, that was one of. It was one of my first, first promo. Okay. Yeah, that was shirts. Our, uh, Generation X T-shirt, basically. Yeah. Like I said, bonehead clothing is pretty much. We're the we're the opposite. So if you tell me to go left, I'm gonna go right. Right. You know? Like so, you say do that, I'm gonna not do that. Not necessarily saying that we like to bend the rules, but at the same time, we make the rules work for us. And at the same time, there's always something that's. Because the higher power always wins. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, we have to figure out how to make the system work for us. Right. So if I know you got, you work with musicians or rappers and artists. So if you can name any rap song or any type of song for your clothing line, what would that song be? <laughs> <laughs> honestly, right, you know, right now, man, that, that, is, that is just tough. Because I <laughs> honestly, honestly, when I'm sitting down designing, <laughs> listening to this, it's or, just like or, the whole you know, like, I'm not listening state. to anything okay. accessible at all. <laughs> anything, like, I'm honestly right. listening to just, because at that moment, like, because I honestly, I came up with the whole NBA idea from a ignorant song. Like, it was just so much ignorance, but at the same time, I found meaning behind it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it's, 
I just like the consistency, and that's why I actually listen to people like that because of the consistency behind it. Right. That's the only way you actually stay relevant. That's the only way you stay on top of the game. You right. Know, to where people are talking about. And this next the name of our show on top of my game. So you guys are definitely being on top of your game. What exactly? What do we have here? We have three shirts. Can you guys give us some history behind these shirts? <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, this oh. This was uh, the last shirt that we made out of this collection. Mm -hmm. uh, it's named Sex Appeal. Uh, basically, I mean, really, the, his, the, the, the thoughts behind it was uh, just making something. We really wanted something that was all over, all over the T-shirt that was expressive. You know what I mean? And it's just, it shows so much sex appeal. And, uh, you know, we added a lot of ourselves in it as far as with the, uh, the bandana design and um, just... Uh, just with the the red and the you know it's it's really bold and uh, that's that's just really the statement that we were really trying to make with it, and um, you know we we hope that we got that across to the people really, and we got a lot of feedback that was very positive from it so, yeah I think we did get that across. Mm -hmm. And then we have, um, oh, the. Uh, this is the uh, F History shirt. This is like one of my favorite shirts. Right, it, it, just, uh, it means a lot to both of us. Like I was actually in the midst of this, like actually designing this shirt. I think I was like in a cross between like either, this is like around Black History Month. So it was a lot, you know, pictures, all sorts of stuff <coughs> yeah. that I was seeing and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> so in the midst of that, you know, I'm like, man, there should be an emoji, like kind of like with a frown, but not necessarily like a frown, but like a, one of them, like, you know, you wrong looks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So I kind of found one and kind of did the F history, kind of representing not necessarily F the history books like that, but necessarily kind of dig deep into the things that you are being told and not necessarily just going, say, oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to just go off of that because the story is always bigger than what's being told. Right. Right. We're so, so accustomed to repeating history, as, as, right. as folks say, that, uh, we definitely want to just send our message out there that, like, you know, we're making our own history. Right. That's you know. And this is the shirt that you're wearing? Yeah, this yeah. is the shirt that I'm wearing now. NBA. And we actually got another design. It's a all-white long sleeve, um, yes. you know, that a lot of people like just as much as this one. And it's, it's definitely one of our uh, most popular shirts out right now. Um, and, yeah, I personally love it. I mean, he, he kind of surprised me with the design. Um, yeah. You know, we were working on those other three. Or those other two, and um, you know, he was just like, you know, I got this idea. He threw it out there. I'm like, yes. And it literally, we literally pushed it like that next day, and, and then we got the feedback that everybody just they fell in love with it. So we're gonna let Kansas City take a look at more of your clothes, and we'll be right back. Right again, you're watching What's Up Kansas City, and I'm still here with Bone Head Clothing. So, guys, is there any final words you want to say to Kansas City? Yeah, definitely. Uh, first, we want to encourage everybody to go to our website. It's boneheadbunker.com. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram. It's the same, Bonehead Bunker, Twitter. Um, Bonehead Bunker. Bonehead Bunker, every, <laughs> every, everything, really. Uh, and uh, I first want to give thanks to my, uh, my family, my best friends, Ronnie, Dominique, uh, they the one who's really been like encouraging, encouraging this, you know, every step of the way, you know. Uh, yeah, I like to give thanks to pretty much all my family. Uh, my brother, of course, Von Zell, uh, he pretty much showed me the promo game, uh, so I'm taking all of that, incorporating it with this. All of my friends that I know outside of Kansas City and in Kansas City that has clothing lines that we, you know, kind of go back and forth, exchange ideas. Uh, and it's, it's, at the same time, my team, because without my team, I can't really Definitely. do too much. And also the supporters that we have. Uh, and like he said, just, you know, if you have two seconds, five seconds, check out the website, boneheadbunker.com. Uh, leave a comment. Leave, you know, yeah, leave we have a uh, anything, comment slot. Really, you know. So you can, like, leave us a comment, like, we like you, we hate you. you <laughs> right, anything. Don't make this shirt. Uh, make this shirt. What size I'm open for like? suggestions. Anything. Um, only thing I don't like is custom orders. Um, I tell people, and I only say this because the things that I do make or we make uh, are mainly 
they're they're rare things. You know, like the ideas that we come out with are are rare things. They're rare events. The images are rare. You're not gonna see it anywhere else. Uh, I, and if you do, I'll give you twenty, thirty dollars. You know, so <laughs> right. leave us a message. Uh, and also, um, be sure to uh, also check out the uh, Instagrams. If you do purchase a shirt, uh, we send out little thank you cards. Uh, send up, ta tag yourself in the Instagram, and we'll post it on our page. Definitely. And uh, a last shout out to our city. You know, really, because uh, you know, like the the show. And, um, I mean, we're both here, born and raised, you know, and we, we really love our city. We really want to do something great for the people of our city and the generations to come. So, you know, any suggestions, like we said, you know, let us know. We, we want to really be in any type of event that has to do with giving back to our city, you know. So that's, that's really major with us. Well, West Kansas City is happy to have you guys here today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the clothes. Um, I mean, that's it for our show today. And don't forget to check out other videos at whatsupkansascity.net. Salute. <laughs> What's up, Kansas City? I'm Brianna Garlington. I'm Charles Williams. And I'm Derek Parker. And we are CMG. And we would like to welcome you to follow both websites. That's whatsupkansascity.net and cascadesports.tv. Some of our programs consist of Are You Awoke? Coach's Corner, and many more interviews, news, and blogs. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cascade Media Group and Twitter at What's Up KC and Cascade Sports. And remember, the victory we call success goes, goes to the best prepared. prepared. And when you invest in your community, you are really just investing in yourself. So don't just like it, share it.